Hello guys, and welcome to this new Tableau tutorial. In this video, I will explain to you how to create one of the most important charts in data visualization, which is Pareto chart. By definition, a Pareto chart is a type of chart that contains both bars and the line graph, where individual values are represented in descending order by bars, and the ascending cumulative total is represented by the line. The principle states that 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. As an example, we can talk about 80% of sales that come from 20% of the products. And to create our Pareto chart, we are going to use the orders table from Sample Superstore that you can download via the link in the description. So to create our Pareto chart, we are going to use subcategory. So we drag and drop subcategory into the columns. We drag and drop sales into the rows. We sort in the descending order. We press Ctrl key and we duplicate the sum of cells. So we have said the first one, it will be bar. The second one, it will be a line. And we select dual axis. Now we go to the second sum of cells, so the second row, and we add table calculation. We select running total. And by definition, a running total is the summation of a sequence of numbers, which is updated each time a new number is added to the sequence by adding the value of the new number to the previous running total. And we click on add secondary calculation. Here we select percent of total and we close our tab. Now we can rotate our label and we can change the color of the bars. For example, we can choose this color okay so like that we get our simple Pareto chart which gives us the cells the percent of total running sum of cells with the different subcategories so as we can see here we have 17 subcategories and 20 percent of 17 is between 3 and 4 so we have 1 2 3 and 4 and as you can see here, the percentage is 47.42, which means that the Pareto principle is not really applied in our case because not 80% of the sales come from 20% of the subcategories. Nevertheless, this chart will help us in our analysis. For example, the first one, we have a percentage of 14.37% for the phones. Then the phones and chairs represent 28.66% of the sales, etc. So a Pareto chart can help a lot in our analysis by giving the different values and different percentages. Since the principle states that 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes, in order to see where our curve is located regarding the two reference lines, which are 80% and 20%, we are going to create a new chart where both axes will be represented as a percentage of total running sum. So we click on New worksheet we drag and drop subcategory into the columns cells into the rows so press ctrl key and we select the subcategory into detail and we are going to create our percentage of total running sum for the first one we select measure count distinct add table calculation running total specific dimensions subcategory add secondary calculation percent of total specific dimensions and subcategory we do the same thing for sum of cells add table calculation run in total specific dimensions subcategory add secondary calculation percent of total and we do the same thing So we can select an area chart, okay, the entire view. And since our order is dependent on the cells, we are going to change the order of subcategory. So we select sort, sort by field in the descending order. So we start from the highest to the lowest and the field name, it will be the cells. Okay, now we add our reference lines. 
so add reference line in the place of average select constant and here we have said that 20% of the subcategories so we select 0 0.2 okay we do the same thing for the other axis add the reference line constant and we select 0 0.8 okay so to get 80% of our cells we need at least 47% of our subcategories which means that half of our total subcategories and here for nearly 20% we will have up to 40% of our total cells now we can go even further and we will create another Pareto chart like the first one but in place of having the different subcategories as individual bars we will use the percentage of total running sum of the subcategories so I'm going to duplicate this one since here we have percent of total running sum of distinct count of subcategory and here we have already percent of total running sum of cells we are going to add the cells into the rows I'm going to select dual axis and now we can change it into bar same thing for the first one we have bar so we can change the colors for the first one edit color the cells it will be we choose this color apply and for the second one we select green apply okay we can change the size so for the second one we can decrease the size okay and like that we get our cells so we have the total cells for each category and we have also the percentage so for the phones we have 14.37 percent for the phones plus the chairs we have 28.66 percent for the storage the chairs and the phones we have a percentage of 38.41 percent whereas for the percentage of total running sum of distinct count of subcategory which is here the second line each time it will add 5.88 because if we divide 100 by 17 you will get a result of 5.88 which is the one that we see in here each time for this line it will add the same value so this percentage is not really what is important for us but the most important one is the one that we see for the cells okay so we can format our worksheet for example we select format shading we can select this color right for the grid lines so none for the font we can select bold black in 10 okay same thing we can add the borders put everything in black okay and we add our title so we put it Pareto chart is Tableau right black bold like we put it in like 24 apply okay format title and we add our border okay so like that we get our Pareto chart and we have created three different charts so I hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial